For this video, we're gonna be doing a basic sweep operation. Now, if you wanna think about a sweep, think about it like a piece of wire or a hose, something like that. It's got one uniform cross section and it's got a path that it goes through. So we can use uh, this tool for any type of, you know, like wires, uh, tubing and things like that. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. So right up here, you can see here's the sweep. And if you click on it, it's gonna ask us a couple things. It's gonna say, hey, what's the sketch? And then what are my paths? So we don't really have those yet. So let's go back and cancel out of this. And down here on this plane at the bottom, which is the X, Y plane, let's go ahead and click on that and activate a sketch. And you can draw anything you want here. I'm just gonna put a basic circle. So I'm just gonna say, hey, here's my circle. Um, I'm not gonna fully define it right now. I'm just gonna place it at the bottom here. It's not super important at this point. Deactivate that sketch. And then I need another one or another sketch that's perpendicular. Uh, and notice I have this plane here, which is the uh, YZ plane, which is already there. And if you didn't have this one or you didn't want it right in the center, you have to create your own reference geometry plane, which we just covered how to do. So, but in this case, let's just go ahead and make it easy. So click, click here, uh, activate another sketch. And actually, it's spun it around a little bit, so I'm gonna I'm gonna spin it back in kind of 3D space, and I'm gonna use the spline tool. So here's the spline tool. I'm gonna grab the spline and I'm gonna snap it from the origin here. That's a nice starting point, and I'm just gonna draw out a couple of lines or a couple uh, inflection points here, so I can see my spline. So here's I can just kind of have it flowing along this curve, and you can grab these and move them around and things like that if you if you want to modify the shape. Um, and, and notice I don't have that circle down there directly attached, and that's okay. But I mean, if you want to move that over, that's fine. Um, but the, we're just going to be using this path and that circle to define that shape. All right, so deactivate the sketch. And it's going to give you a warning because it's saying, hey, this is not a closed uh, sketch. It's okay because we're going to be creating a sweep, so we don't need an enclosed sketch. Go ahead and ignore that and come over here to sweep. So my sketch to sweep is gonna be that sketch number one, which is right over here, which I'm gonna grab from the Design Explorer. And my path is gonna be sketch two right here. And you can see what's happening there. So it's just taking that circular shape and it's following along that line. Now it's offset a little bit, again, that doesn't matter. Uh, we're just gonna be following that same shape. Now we also have this checkbox here, which is rigid. Uh, notice we get a little bit of weird things happening here at the bottom if you click on that. Uh, so it's better to keep it in rigid generally uh, because it's gonna take that shape and keep it flat and then just basically drag that shape through space following that line. Once everything looks okay, click okay, and there is our sweep.